Hi, my name is Andy Held. I'm Director of Marketing for Coherence CO2 Laser Business Unit. We're here at Photonics West 2016. It's a very exciting year. Uh, this is Coherence 50th anniversary. Um, the other thing that's really exciting is we're unveiling a brand new laser technology here. Um, we're unveiling basically the first ever commercially available, fully sealed, high power CO laser. That's right, I said CO, not CO2. This is a carbon monoxide laser. It runs at five microns and has some very, very unique um, potential in the market right now. So the, the laser that we're presenting here at Photonics West is a J3-based CO laser, again, carbon monoxide. It's based on our already popular J3 CO2 platform. In fact, the CO laser shares about 85% of the hardware with the CO2 laser, which gives it kind of already a built-in reliability, having hundreds and hundreds of lasers in the field, CO2 lasers in the field already. So you have built-in reliability based on the common platform between CO2 and CO uh, automatically out the chute. So this laser puts out 200 watts of average power, about 500 watts of pulsed peak power. So the laser runs in CW and pulsed operation. And it has excellent beam quality. And what that excellent beam quality gives you, so an M squared of about one, what that excellent beam quality gives you at five microns is tight, tight focusability, okay? Um, the five micron wavelength is about half of that of a CO2, which is 10 microns. And what that means is you can focus the beam down to a smaller spot, two times smaller than the typical CO2 laser. So these lasers ha can have a beam focused down to 30 microns, which gives you the capability for sm drilling smaller holes, smaller kerf widths, smaller structures in general for microelectronics. Uh, and what that does, having two times smaller spot sizes, gives you four times the fluence or power density on your, on your process. What, what four times the fluence gives you is much faster processing or processing at the same speed uh, with lower power. So that's one advantage. The other advantage of five micron or the CO laser is the actual light material interaction, so the absorption, okay? Um, typical lasers at one micron and 10 micron have certain absorptions in certain materials. Five microns right in the middle. And so we see some really interesting things happening there. For example, ceramics, uh, metals, plastics, films, absorb very differently, uh, typically stronger than 10 microns in the case, okay? Um, glass processing is one area where this laser is already taken off, okay? Uh, at one micron, glass, of course, is transparent, as it should be. At 10 microns, glass fully absorbs all the radiation out of a CO2 laser light. There, the absorption is too strong. Five microns sits in the middle, and so because it sits in the middle, the absorption is not too strong, and it's not too weak, and you're able to process the glass uh, much more effectively than you would with a CO2 or, say, a one micron fiber source. This laser is available for sale today. It, 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 we have this laser technology capability, expertise in our regional apps labs around the world. We welcome you to take your samples, come visit the labs, work with our experts in the labs on this technology. If you have a material or process you haven't been able to do with lasers currently available today, this is something new. Also feel free to contact your salespeople for a free demo on this laser or visit our website, www.coherent.com.